Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see how to create our very first Spock test case. So create one groovy class. First example, or you can just give any kind of name to this groovy class. Extends specification. Here we have just imported Spock dot lang dot specification and this will bring all the needed stuff that is initially needed to create our test case so within this class create one function and here we are going to give its name quite descriptive like we are going to see max value using math class just add one pair of parentheses and one curly braces the way we normally use for the Java functions and within this we need to place blocks within this curly braces inside this curly brace we are going to add one block expect and after that we are going to write math dot max method and within this we are going to pass one value 2 and second value 3 so this method is going to return 3 but how we are just going to verify it so for that we are just going to use double equal sign and then we are just going to give value 3 so as per our understanding this math dot max method is going to produce 3 and it should be equal to 3 so let's save it and run this test case so run as j unit test and in our very first introductory tutorial we have just talked about that Spock is a superset of J unit so in the core it normally use a Sputnik runner that use J unit runner after all so any of the test case that we are just going to write that will be executed as a J unit test so click on this J unit test and here we can see that code has been executed successfully if it is going to fail anywhere then it is going to show some sort of exception so let's see that example here in place of 3 I am just going to add 4 save it and run it it is saying like math.max method is going to return 3 and it is being compared with the 4 so 3 can't be equal to 4 that is why it is returning false so it is quite descriptive and whenever we are just going to see some failure in our code we try to understand what sort of error has just occurred in the code and here the exception is quite or the failure traces are quite explanatory so this is the best feature with the Spock 